The tilt shift effect is a super easy effect that gives you the sense that you're watching a miniature world. And it can be done easily in DaVinci Resolve in under a minute. All that stuff coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about effects, transitions, and other workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you want to level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out but let's just get into it. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna go through the process of teaching you how to make the tilt shift effect. It's super simple, super easy. You can achieve this effect with just a few mouse clicks and it looks awesome. So in the edit tab, the only thing you have to do is have your clips out here on the timeline and then just go straight to the color tab because that's where the magic happens. So the thing that we're doing with this effect is that we're actually faking shallow depth of field. So we can achieve that very easily. So. On our node section right here, we're gonna add a serial node. So hit Alt S on your keyboard and it's gonna add a serial node here. Next, move down to your window tab right here. And while the second serial node is selected, click on the rectangle mask and it's gonna pop up. So you can see the main focus of this time lapse right here is primarily the bridge and this stuff is all in the background. So I want this whole bridge section to be in focus while everything else is gonna be out of focus. So drag your square over this and adjust its size expand it all the way out. Then once you have this in place, you want to bring the softness up a lot. So you can come down here to softness and bring it up like this, or you can grab one of these points and drag it out like that also. We want the softness to be subtle. So we don't want the blur to come in super abruptly because if it does, it actually looks really fake. So now click on the open effects panel right here and go down to lens blur. Then grab and drag your lens blur onto this second node right here with your mask. So now you can see that it blurs everything on the inside, but clearly we don't want that. So we're gonna go down here to our window tab again and just hit this button right here. This will invert it. So you can then change the controls. You can bring your blur size up more if you want to, which that's a little much, but I like about 425, something like that. And you can also, the really cool thing is, click preview shape. So this is going to be your current shape right here. This is gonna show what's highlighting and what's fading. So we could be done right now, but the fact is that this is a moving time lapse. It's actually tilting up. So our mask will not stay in the center, but the color tab is a bomb tracker. So go over here to tracker. And once again, make sure this node is selected, just click play and it's gonna track it all the way through. So now you can see that the mask just stays right where it's supposed to. So that works super well. Now, if you wanna see your final image in the color tab without all of these borders, you can go over here to this power window button right here and just click off. And then you'll be able to see your final image and what it's gonna look like. The nice thing is that you can still edit all the parameters in your window tab. So you can bring the softness up more and you can clearly see that it's still being affected. So if you really wanna refine the fade, it's a perfect way to do that. So there you have it, the tilt shift effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share with a friend so that they can put this awesome effect into their videos. If you like me, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like me, hit the bell notification and enable all notifications you have no idea how much that actually helps. So let me ask you a kind of different question. What are you trying to achieve by watching this video? Are you working on a promo? Are you working on a travel video? Are you just trying to grow your knowledge? What is the purpose for you watching this video? Let me know in the comments below because I really love to hear the things that you guys are doing with these effects. Anyway, the video on the top is a video all about the Luma Fade transition in DaVinci Resolve. It's a super awesome video. It really helps out a lot of people. It seems to have actually popped off a little, so some of you probably came from that. And the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.